okay, so Isaiah and I have been programming away here and, and he just showed me this thing and he's like, you know what this plus plus in front of the variable was? I'm like, no, no, I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> so what happens is that you can, you know that you can do kind of like uh, counts, right? So yeah. let me do it here. We're going to do a loop of five and- um, Can you zoom in on that some? Sorry? Can you zoom in on this tool some? Right, yeah, I can. Thank so you. Yeah. Now, um, if we have a variable, whenever you're gonna do kind of like you send the plus plus sign, you do have to start at zero. If it is not at zero, it's not gonna be. But in this case, um, what is gonna happen is uh, when you say count plus plus, it is gonna add one to the variable. Yeah. But as you're noticing, the message box is gonna do something first. So the message box is gonna show you whatever is there first, yeah, and then add one. So this at the beginning should show zero. So when I do that, should start with zero. Then it's going to add one, and in the next loop, it's wow. going to show me one. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. But let's say, for example, that I actually need to start at one. So I put the plus plus sign before the variable. So it's going to start adding one. Yeah. And then it's going to show me the variable. So this one should start at one. And that's a very neat uh, uh, little thing, case, right? We could go up to line one and just say start at one, but that's beside the point. It's a neat trick that if right. you did want to, you know, um, yeah, start so it, it. It depends. So, it, yeah, so you can actually put here a one. Right, and, and then not have to. Uh, but yeah. um, right. I've never seen that. It yeah. depends on what you want to do because, for example, I wanted to start at zero. I want to do some stuff, but I, I don't want to use it right away, right? Yeah, but I want to use it right away, and at the end, for example, do some stuff. Sorry, can you before you did go back to what you had it because I want to I want to just ask you a couple direct questions about what we okay. had. Well, you, and you can leave it here too, but just the message box. So this is going to start off with zero because yeah. for whatever reason, this mm -hmm. seems weird to me. Auto hotkey says evaluate what's to the right. But it's it's not going to do the math first. No, exactly. So, and this is actually something that is not only on other hotkey in other languages as well. Really? If you put the plus plus sign, yeah, after the variable, it means use the variable and then do the math. Well, hold on now. What if you put plus one, like this? Yes. Yeah, that would start zero plus one, right? Well, what what's going to show up? It is going to show up at the one, is your point. At the one, right. That okay. should start at one, and it's going to keep doing at one because I'm not doing anything with the variable. But if I just go ahead and do this, that is going to give me one plus one. Sorry, the other way around. Yeah, no, I understand. With zero I plus one, right, of course. It resolves right, right. the first so, thing first, which is still right, zero exactly. because that hasn't taken in. Exactly. It hasn't done the thing yet, right? But 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 here's the funny thing. Why would I want to do that? What 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 is the point of this kind of things? What the dif what's the difference? So when I'm actually working, so I want to do some some stuff. And after I do the stuff, I count that I did it. So I don't want this to start at one. I, I mean zero, right? I do my stuff. Yeah. If the stuff is done, then I count. If it yeah. isn't, I don't count, right? But I want to count it after I did the stuff. For that reason, count is going to be zero. I do my stuff, then I count plus one. But I'm not using that one now. I want to actually use it on the next loop, in which I'm counting if count is more than 10 for example you see what i mean so i'm uh, if count is more than 10 do something after i do my, my stuff then count it that i did it that's the most common way that we actually do stuff in programming we start at zero we do stuff we count how many times we did that sure yeah and then we check if the count is more than a specific number that's the most common way of working but sometimes you want to do stuff but the counting is before it is in this is exactly what was going on in this particular example it's, in which uh, just <laughs> right i never would have guessed so in reality the plus plus isn't i shouldn't think of it as a plus one it's more of an incrementer 
kind Increment. of thing. Increment. It's, it's and it's exactly not, that. In my head, it was always plus one, and that's what really... No, it's not. It's not. Right, right, right. It is not a plus one. It is increment by one. Wow. Now, when do you want to increment by yeah, one? Then suddenly After it's clear. After I did yeah. something, yeah. yeah, I want to increment yeah. by one. After I did it or before I did it, that's where now, the things come in. Having said that, I still think it's weird that when it's on the same line and you run the message box, it it actually doesn't resolve that incrementation until after you get past, you know what I mean? Like I still would have thought that incrementer would have been included so there because it's all- This for you, one. this for you should have returned one, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if in my mind, it is kind of like logic because it says message box, that variable- It's reading left. variable right. is zero, yeah. right? Yeah. So it is grabbing zero first. Yeah. It's gonna show me that. And then it's going to do the increment because yeah. think about the increment as a new line like this message box and message bo and then count plus equals one. That's what is happening, right? So there are two different commands. Show me what the variable has right. incremented by one. Right. In here is kind of clear because you have two different lines and you are not expecting right. the message box Absolutely. to show right. this, right? But it is the same thing if you have this plus plus here, it is just a second line of code. The only thing is that it's not being shown as a second line of code. It's actually just concatenated here for yeah. brevity, right? But that's what is going on. This is actually something that is very, and that happens with the plus plus with the minus minus because you can actually subtract yeah. one as well. And it, again, depending on where you put it, it does the subtraction first or it actually uh, shows the variable first. Yeah, it actually. depends what you do with it. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I, I yeah. never guessed. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and actually, in this case, that's exactly what we needed. I was just going to put like count plus plus and then just use the variable count here. That's what I was going to do. So basically here, I was just going to say count plus plus and use the count because I know that the plus plus is not going to work if I have it here. If I have it here, it's going to start at zero. I didn't want to do that. So then I was like, yeah, I don't need two lines for the same thing. I could just have it in one line, but I have to increment first and then use it. That's what. And you still have to, on line 43, define it as zero with the. Uh, I do. So basically, right. So if, if, if you do not, whenever you're incrementing like this, you have to start with a number. It has to be a one. If the variable is not defined, then it's not going to work out. Well, yeah, just to restate that. Auto hotkey needs to know it's a number, right? Yes. However, you want to yes. set it, but yeah, okay. Right. That cool. is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.